the Philippines is on their way to recovery as its economy expanded by 5.6% in 2021. With GDP growth exceeding expectations in 2021, the Philippines is optimistic that it will bounce back to pre-pandemic levels and attain upper-middle-income country status before this year end. After logging 7.7% growth for the fourth quarter, as loosened pandemic-related restrictions fasten business activity. The annual performance beat the adjusted target range of 5% to 5.5%. It's better than expected fourth quarter performance, marks a rebound from the 8.3% contraction in the same period of 2020 and represents a faster expansion from the revised 6.9% growth in the third quarter of 2021. The latest GDP figure is an improvement from 2020's 9.6% drop. The country's nominal GDP based on current prices stood at 19.39 trillion pesos, $377 billion, slightly below the 19.52 trillion pesos seen in 2019. Industry and services grew 9.5% and 7.9%, respectively during the last quarter while agriculture inched up 1.4% despite the onslaught of Typhoon Odette in December. Other industries such as arts, entertainment and recreation saw the biggest expansion at 30.1%, while accommodation and food services expanded by 22.8%. This growth performance was much faster than most analyst forecasts, making the country's expansion among the highest in the region. Analysts had expected growth in Southeast Asia to settle within 1% to 4%. Vietnam posted growth of 2.6%, while Singapore's GDP jumped by 7.5%. The Philippines is aiming for 7% to 9% GDP expansion this election year, and 6% to 7% for the years 2023 and 2024 respectively. The main risk this year are unknown variants of the virus. The other risks that the government is aware of and addressing currently are inflation for increasing oil and food cost. Coronavirus mutations are already causing headaches. The Philippines imposed tighter alert level 3 pandemic restrictions in Metro Manila and nearby areas this month. As the highly transmissible Omicron variant pushed daily cases to a record over 39,000 in mid-January, from as low as 168 in December. Though currently, its average daily cases lowered to 18,000. It appears that the spike is at a very temporary nature, and Alert Level 2 or Alert Level 1 will set before the first quarter ends. Alex Holmes, Asian economist at Capital Economics, reviewed that the latest infection wave has likely thrown the recovery once more, but that recent signs suggest the economic impact should be relatively mild and brief. It's expected that a flat growth rate over the first quarter of 2022, before growth picks up speed again next quarter.